Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, teacher. How are you today? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost finished, it, Sophia. One more day, okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't work yes, Saturday and Sunday? No, I don't work. That's nice. Weekend. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And are you working from home, Sophia, or you you have to go to the office? No, I, I'm working from home. How do you like that? Mm, for some things, is better, but for some others, it's not because sometimes you have to work until very late. Right, yeah. So for that, uh -huh. it's like a little, um, a little harder that after, that, right. yeah, the, that before. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I guess it has advantages and disadvantages, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So what about next year? Are you guys gonna still be working from home or is it gonna be different? Do you know? I I heard that this year mm -hmm. um we are we are finished the year working from home. Okay. But the next year I I nobody knows. Okay. I I we think that some mm -hmm. some ones are <coughs> will be working from home. Okay. And others some other people are gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah, right now I think no, we really don't know what's gonna be happening next year with everything, right? Because a lot of the jobs have switched to um, home office this year but we don't know yet about next year. Yes. Yeah, very good. Hi, Maria Araceli, good morning. Morning. Morning, how are you today, Maria Araceli? Fine, fine, a little tired. Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> One more day, okay, you can make it. Okay. Very good. Hi, Exa, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you today? I'm very fine. Excellent, very good. Well, I'm also good because it's not raining and it doesn't seem like it's gonna rain. So finally, I can see blue skies outside my house. So I'm very happy for that. <laughs> At least by my house is very like clear. So that's nice. All right, so I'm happy. It's not clear there? No. Oh, really? It's here. It's actually clear here. Some surprise, <laughs> but we'll see what happens after that. I mean, during the day and everything. Sometimes it's very shiny, and then the next minute it's cloudy already. So you never know. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys. So yesterday we were talking about. Do you remember the topic we were talking about yesterday? What tense were we studying yesterday? Present perfect continuous. That's right, present perfect continuous, all right? So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you another presentation about present perfect continuous to review what we saw yesterday, okay? And then I have quite a few exercises for you so you can practice it. So tomorrow we can start section three, all right? So with like today's class, today's session, we're gonna wrap it up with some exercises, okay? Some of them are matching exercises, some of them are unscrambled sentence exercises. Some of them are you come up with a question exercise based on the, on the answer, all right? So uh, we're gonna be working on that today. So hopefully uh, most of your classmates will join us this morning. Good morning, Vero, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, good morning. How are you today? Good, good, teacher. Excellent, very good, nice to hear that, okay. So this is what um, the one I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna be showing it to you right now. As I said, this is like a review of what we saw yesterday, all right? So it's nothing new, it's just like we're reviewing it, okay? So we have present perfect continuous tense. Remember that this one you can say present perfect continuous or you can say present perfect progressive and it's the same tense, okay? Just the name changes. 
Now, how do we make the present perfect continuous tense? This is the structure. Now, before I put it on, let's see. Sophia, can you remind us what is the structure in positive sentences for the present perfect continuous tense? Um, is subject plus has had plus been plus verb in ing. I -N -I -N -G. Yes, I -N -G. Very good. yes, very good. And the complement, of course. Remember when we talk, thank you, Sophia, very well done. Remember that when we talk about um, the verb plus ing, it has a specific grammatical name. What is it? Do you remember, guys? Do we say the verb plus ing or does it have a specific name? Remember how I'm gonna give you a uh -huh, Sophia, go ahead, go ahead. No, I don't remember. All right, okay, that's okay. Geno. No, it's not Geno. gerund, it's not gerund. It looks like a gerund, but it's not a gerund, all right? Because it finishes with ing, all right? Remember how in the present perfect simple, we have to use past participle, all right? Seen, done, spoken. But what about in this tense, in this present perfect continuous tense? The ing verb, it has a special name. Do you remember that special name? No, nobody remembers? No, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. No, no. no, that's fine. It's the present participle. All right, you know how in the uh, perfect tense, simple perfect tense, you use the past participle. All right, so in this tense, the present perfect continuous, you use the verb with ing, but grammatically speaking, it's called the present participle. All right, so that's, it, is, it looks like a gerund because it finishes with ing, but it's not a gerund, all right? It's, uh, it's um, named after the uh, present participle, okay? That's just for you to know, like the information you have to know. Here we call it like, you know, main verb plus ing or base verb plus ing, which is okay. Whatever way you understand it is the same, all right? So as Sophia walk us through, we have the subject, we have the auxiliary have or has, depending on the, um, depending on the, on the subject, then you have been, all right? And because you're using somehow, the verb be in this sentence, the following verb needs to be with ing. So that's why we use the present participle, which is the verb plus ing. So you say, I have been studying English since January, all right? Or have been studying English for a while already, okay? Here, as I, as I showed you yesterday, these are like the, the affirmative and negative and questions, okay? So this is like what we saw yesterday. So remember for the, uh, for the um, affirmative sentences, we have subject, auxiliary verb have or has, the verb uh, been, all right? Then we have the verb with ing or the present uh, participle, and then you have the complement. If it's negative, where are you going to place the not? Where does the not go to make it negative? In which position do I have a not? In which? Excuse me? Between bear, uh, have or has to bear to be. Right, right, very good. So between have or has and been, right, or the verb be. Very good, so that's the position of not. It has not been raining. We have not been playing football. We have not been talking. Uh, you have not been studying, I don't know, or she has not been paying attention, all right? So you need those um, sentences in negative to say that something has not been happening, all right? Then we have a question, and I say, for example, so, um, I don't know, have you guys been doing your homework? Have you guys been working on the platform? And then you say, yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have been. All right, so that's like how you make a question. Remember that when you make questions, you switch the, uh, in this case, the subject with the auxiliary verb, okay? So you will have, have you, or has he, 
or has Franklin or has Sophia or has Exa Franklin and Sophia. All right, so you have the, you have uh, you have to change the, the position of have with the subject or has with the subject, and the rest of it is the same. But you need to remember to write the question mark. Okay, so this is how you're going to be asking these questions, but you already know that. All right, contractions. Let's see. Um, so want to read the contractions for me, which is when we use the present continuous tense. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Eliana. And hi, Carla. Mm -hmm. Morning. Morning. Uh, when, sorry, teacher. Uh, okay. When we use the present perfect continuous tense in speaking, we often contract the subject and the first auxiliary. We also sometimes do uh, this in informal writing. Mm -hmm. uh, read the example. Yes, please. Okay. I have been. I've been. Excellent. You have been. You've been. He has been. He's been. She has been. She's been. It has been. It's been. John has been. John's been. We have been, we've been, and the last one, they have been, they've been. Very good. Well, very well done. Thank you so much. All right. So this is how we speak it, guys. All right. I know that for you, to, uh, like you guys are already in this level. All right. So you speak it a little bit faster than like beginners students would. All right. So you know that these contractions happen for a reason, and it's because they usually join sounds together and then use a lot of contractions, right? So instead of saying, I have been working in this company for so long, you say, I've been working, all right? So it sounds faster because they're making a contraction here, all right? And it sounds like more fluent, it sounds more native, all right? So usually when you watch a movie or when you listen to a song or when you see something in English or you hear a native speaker, they will do a lot of contractions. They will use contractions all the time, right? So it's very important for you to know that this happens. When? When we speak or when we what? When can we contract? Oops, sorry, that's very loud. When can we make contractions? When we're speaking on another reason or another way? Informal writing. Informal writing, yes, of course. Informal writing is very important, okay? You're texting a friend, you're sending a message to me, all right? Okay, it's okay. It's not like you don't respect each other, but it's informal. However, if you're writing a report, if you're talking to like the, the owner of the company, if you're talking to this very, I don't know, grumpy supervisor, you're not gonna try, I mean, try not to use the contracted form, all right? So informal writing, it's okay. But if you're writing a serious report, try to omit any of the uh, contractions, all right? So that's like not very advisable, okay? Let's continue here. Do you have any questions so far? No questions? No. All right, just remember that it's I've, you've, his, she's, right? And all those contractions. If you have like a name, for example, John, it's okay, John's been, Sophia's been, Franklin's been, X has been, Jessica's been, all right, so you do the contraction also with names, okay? Here are some examples. Can someone else read the examples for me, please? Here are some examples. I've been, I, I've been re reading. Yes. The car's been giving trouble. Give be, we be, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> We've been playing tennis for two hours. Excellent, Sophia. Very good. Okay, so this is how uh, we can pronounce it so we can sound more natural, more fluent. All right, so that's very important. How do we use the present perfect continuous tense? All right, Franklin, good morning. Do you mind reading this for me, uh, Franklin? Yes. Um, how? Sorry. Uh... I read, I read it. Yes, please. Yes, read ah, this. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay. Uh, how do, how do you we use the present perfect continuous tense? Um, this tense is called, called uh, the present 
called the yes. present perfect continuous tense. Uh, there is usually, usual, uh, usually a connection with the present or now. Okay. There are boxes called to use for the present perfect continuous tense. Okay. Uh, number one, an action that has just stopped. Stop. Yes, stopped. Very uh, good. Uh, or recently mm -hmm. stopped. Stop it. Stop. Stopped. <laughs> stopped. <laughs> okay. And uh, number two, an action continuing yep, uh, up to now. Up to now. Very good. Thank up. you. Up to, up to now. Very good. So remember, this is how we use the present perfect continuous tense. Um, usually you connect, though there's a connection with the present or the now, all right? There are basically two uses for the present perfect continuous tense. Number one, an action that has just stopped or recently stopped, all right? Or number two, an action that continues or like is continuing up to now. These are like the two main usages of this. Remember yesterday we were saying that this present perfect continuous focuses on the result or does it focus on the activity? Do you remember? The activity. Yes, very good. It focuses on the activity more than on the result. There is another, another um, usage that we saw yesterday that it focuses on the duration of it, right? That's why you use kind of for and since also, right? So very good. Remember that this one focuses on the activity more than on the result. An action that has just stopped or recently stopped. Ileana, can you read this one, please, Ili? Yes. Number one, an action that has just stopped or mm -hmm. recently stopped. Yes. We use the present perfect continuous sense to talk about an action that starts in the past and stopped recently. There is usually a result now. All right. Um, here, I'm tired because I've been running, all right? What is the result? I'm tired. I'm tired. Why? Because I've been running. Right, okay. Look at the other examples that we have now. I'm uh, the other one. Why is the grass wet? You're asking, now, hey, you go outside and say, hey, why is the grass wet? Do you understand grass? Do you guys know what grass is? No, teacher. Grama. No. All right, grama. ¿Por qué la grama está mojada? Why is the grass wet? All right, and you say, ah, because it has been raining. All right, and maybe just stopped, okay? You don't understand. Why don't you understand? Because what? Why don't you understand something? Because we haven't been listening. <laughs> <laughs> you have. All right, Eliana, very good. Yeah, it's only an example. Because you haven't been listening, all right? Very good. Let's continue here. An action continuing up to now. We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that started in the past and is continuing now. This is often used with for or since, all right? I've been reading for two hours. For how long have, uh, have you been reading? For how long have you been reading, guys? We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about hours. an action that starts in the past and is continuing now. This is often used with for or signs. Since. I uh, since I have been reading for two hours. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, uh, as I asked, how long have I been reading for? Two hours. Two hours. Very good. Thank you. All right. For two hours. So it's continuing. The action is continuing now to the present. Okay. Let's see. Um, someone else to read the examples, please. Blanquita. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, frankly. Example. <laughs> <You're so nice. laughs> Example. I have been reading for two hours. I am still reading now we've been studying science since 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 nine o'clock we're still studying now studying now yeah how long have you been learning english 
you are still learning now. We have not been smoking and we are not smoking now. Perfect, okay, very good. Let's see here. All right, I just wanna ask you a question guys here. This is like, I don't know about this issue. Let's see, Exa, how long have you been studying English? Uh, yeah. Like when did you begin studying English? Do you remember how long you've been studying? I've been studying English for two years. Okay, all right, very good. Ely, what about you? How long have you been studying English for? In my case, I've been studying uh, about six months. Oh, really? All right, very good. Okay. Franklin, in your case, how long have you been studying English for? I have been reading um, studying. for um, two hours um, a day. <laughs> two hours a day. But how long have you been studying English for? Like, when did you begin learning English? Uh, Do you remember? No, remember. Okay, that's fine. What about Sophia? What about you, Sophia? How long have you been studying English or learning English for? Mm. Maybe since the school. Okay. All right. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mariana said in your case. I have been about six months. All right, okay, very good. Vero, in your case, how long have you been studying English for? I have been studying two years. You've been studying English for two years, all right. Carla, Joanna, what about you? I've been studying for one year. For one ago. year? All right, yeah. okay, for one year. Okay, Carla Beatriz, what about you, Carla? I have been studying um, two years. For two almost. years, almost <laughs> two years. All right, almost, very good. Gabriela Reyes, in your case, Gabi? Um, maybe one year ago. Okay, like, okay, about a one year, all right? If you say ago, that means that you, like, it doesn't match the ago with the present uh, perfect continuous uh, sense okay. because remember that this conti this continues now, right? Uh, but that's okay. Thank you, Gabi. What about Blanca? Uh -huh, Blanquita, how long have you been studying English for? I've been studying English um, one year. For one year? All right, very good. Francisco? I've been studying English for uh, two years. Two years, very good. Karen Reyes? How long have you been studying English for? All right, maybe not. Vanya, what about you? How long have you been studying English for? I've been studying English um, five years. For five years? All right, okay, very good, okay. So when you guys tell me that you've been studying English for two years, for one year, for six months, does that mean that this is like, from that time on, this has been like your formal uh, learning process? Or have you begin before and then you stopped and began again and then stopped? Or for example, two years ago, Exa, in your case, did you begin and you haven't stopped and that was the first time you began? Or you began before and then you stopped? For me, I was I took lessons in, uh -huh. when I was in the university. In uh -huh. the university, yeah, university. And I stopped okay. for four years until um, maybe um, two months ago. Oh, I okay. start again. All right, I see. Thank you, Sophia. Very good. All right, someone else. In my case, when I was a child, I started uh, about one one year. Maybe. Okay, all right. And and now. Uh, okay, and all right. Okay, very good, nice. And the rest of you guys, someone else. 
Teacher, uh, I think that Karen uh, sent you a message. Yes, yes, by the I, chat. Oh, yes, okay. yeah, I saw it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Karen. Yeah, I saw it. Very good. Uh, yes, Excel, you were saying? Well, I studied English in the high school mm -hmm. uh, for four years. Okay. And I finished uh, a complete course okay. and stop. And after that, I I started uh, to study again with this program. program. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. I hear it. Very good. All right. Very nice. Okay, let's continue here. We're just about to finish the presentation so we can do the exercises I have for you here. For and since, we often use for and since with the present perfect tense, all right? So here we use for to talk about periods of time, five minutes, two weeks, six years. If you notice, you don't use the ago word because ago means simple past, all right? We use since to talk about a point in past, in a past time, all right, nine o'clock, 1st of January, Monday. Okay, let's see here, what else we have? Here are some examples. I've been studying for three hours. I have been watching TV since 7 p.m. There has, uh, hasn't been feeling, uh, Tara, sorry, hasn't been feeling well for two weeks. Tara hasn't been visiting us since March. He has been playing football for a long time. He has been living in Van Gogh since he left the school. Four can be used with all tenses. Since is usually used with perfect tenses only. So this is very important, guys, though, for you to know. The for uh, word here, you can use it for almost any tense, whereas since you can only use it, or usually we use it only for the perfect tenses. In this case, present perfect continuous, all right? Okay, so here, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. And from now on, guys, for like, like this last half an hour or so, I'm going to show you the exercises I want you to work on, all right? So they're like about four or five, but they are like, I think they are like nice that you can like actually do different things. It's not just, you know, filling in the, the spaces or just like making full sentences because you already know how to do that. So it's a little bit more challenging here, okay? So this is what I want you guys to work on. This is the other presentation here. Can you guys see it? Yes. 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 All right. Very good. Thank you. So here we have present perfect continuous exercises. Okay. This is number one. Now you're going to be taking pictures. Okay. So you're going to take like seven pictures of, um, or maybe a little bit less, but the idea is for you to advance as much as possible. Can you take the first picture, please? Okay. Okay. What are you supposed to do in this picture? It says use the present perfect a progressive or continuous and your own ideas to answer the following questions. So for example, you say, why are you so tired? And you're gonna say, oh, because, and then it finishes with all morning. The rest of it, you come up with it, okay? With you and your partner. Why did Daniel's teacher phone Daniel's parents? And then you have to make up something. Be careful with this, check this first, okay? So it makes sense what you're writing. The same thing for this one, okay? So for the first picture, you're completing it with your own ideas, okay? The second picture, can you take a picture of this one, please? Okay, thank you. Right, okay, here is vice versa. It says, use the correct question word. The answer is given to you. What you have to come up with is the question based on the answer. So you can use who, what, where, why, how long, as long as it makes sense, based on what you have here. And then you have an underlined word that are like the answer of it, okay? So guide yourself with this. You understand what you're supposed to do for picture number two? No questions for picture yes. number two? Okay, perfect. No. Next one. Okay, present. Um, Present progressive, all right? Tell me why. You're gonna do the matching here. Match the situation on the left with the causes on the right. For example, Mary's eyes are very red. Why? She has been crying all night, okay? So here you're gonna read number two and match it with the, uh, with the cause and the effect here, okay? That's picture number three. That's picture number three, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, number four. 
It says, uh, uh, do, 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 do. okay, put the words below in the correct order to make grammatically correct sentences. Each sentence is in the present perfect progressive tense. So here you have to unscramble them. It says, piano lessons has she since taking a bin was a child she. What? Make sense of it, all right? So if you have to unscramble the sentences, okay? Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Yes. Okay. Yes. And this one is just the normal sentences, all right? The normal sentences, check if it's a question, check if it's negative, check if it's affirmative, and you're just filling the exercises. The other ones, I want you to really try to work on them. I will let you work for this half hour that we have left on all the exercises, okay? That's the last picture, I believe, yeah. Okay. Did you take the picture for everything? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so right now it's seven o'clock. As I said, you'll have like about, thank you, Karen. You're gonna have like about, I don't know, 20 minutes to work on all of them. Try to advance as much as possible on all the other exercises, okay? So we can have like a little time to check. And then if you're not finished, it's just for you to have it. And then maybe later you can work on them. Okay, let's see here. Um, there you go, guys. I'm opening up the sessions right now. Remember that if you have any questions, please ask me. Good morning, Giovanni. Hi, Giovanni. Hi. I was just thinking about you. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Giovanni, your classmates are working on an exercise right now. Well, on several exercises. So I'm going to send you to, to one group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're working on the present perfect continuous to wrap it up, okay? Okay. Thank you. Because <laughs> money. <laughs> because money. Perfectly perfect for a good 
working all morning. All morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Morning. Mm -hmm. See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Great, great. Daniel, teacher, Daniel, Because he has been uh, It's AU. <laughs> House. Uh -huh. he has the because she's been. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. For the past month. Uh, it's been, um, outside, outside. Absent, absenting. Teacher, how do you mm -hmm. how do you say absent? The thing is, absent is not a verb mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it hasn't been showing up at school for the past month. Maybe showing up is like being absent. Como no ha llegado a clase. He hasn't. He has been. Uh, not coming to class. He hasn't been coming to class for the past month. Uh, yes, not coming. Mm -hmm. he, has been. he has not been going to or coming to classes. However, you want to write it, it's okay. Coming to class. For the past month. I read the sentence. Why does he? Why does is smell so good in the kitchen? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is smell? Like oler. Mm -hmm. what, what is it? Because I cook, I have been cooking. Uh, <laughs> because I have been cooking all afternoon. Or maybe uh, you say because I've been baking, you know, like horneando. Mm -hmm. So it's meant like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Smell es oler, ¿verdad? Porque huele tan rico en la cocina. Because it sell. Bien. Cooking. You need, um, girls, you need the apostrophe S. It says been cooking. Mm -hmm. Been cooking. Mm -hmm. In the okay. mm -hmm. Like that. <clears throat> it's been cooking all afternoon. 
Girls, I'm gonna go check another group, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Como ya estuve ahí dos meses, yo conviví con los que estaban. Carlita, Francisco. Hello. What happened? We're we're work, working. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, guys. That's fine. All right. Okay. I I told them my experience. Okay. Uh, uh, he's Cabrera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Number three. Why does Why it does does is mm -hmm. smell? Smell. A smell. Yes. Okay. It smells so good in mm -hmm. the kitchen. Why does it smell so good in the kitchen? Sí, que um, dice como que, que es eh, lo mejor o, o qué es lo que siento mejor o preparo mejor en la cocina. No, porque huele tan rico, rico en la cocina. Ay, ¿sí me oler, oler, ajá, ay. porque huele ah, tan bueno yeah. en la cocina, ajá. Because... Ah, because I've been cooking. Excellent, Carlita. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yes, of because, course. Uh, I see, I see. I've been cooking. Okay. Because I've been cooking, yes. Okay. Okay. All afternoon. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, this nice. all in, in this in this part. Okay. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. the second part, use the mm -hmm. question word, who, what, where, what, how, long. In the present mm -hmm. perfect progressive dance to make information question, the underlying. Oh, what mean this word, teacher? Yes, se fue. No, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Which one? Uh, what? Uh, uh, underline. Underline. Uh, like subrayada. 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 But what is the pronunciation? Uh, underlined. Underlined. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Very good. Yes. You're Thanks. welcome. Okay. Uh, what are the, the answer and the question? Teacher. Yes. Carla? The present perfect progressive is only. I use thing. Y el, lo que estábamos viendo, vea, uh -huh. de, de la auxiliar. Sí. Only that is siempre el verbo en ing, ¿verdad? Eso siempre. Sí, siempre. Sí, siempre. Okay. sí porque es, es, es all the time. Porque es el tiempo continuo, ¿verdad? Entonces, oh. cuando, cada vez que usted escuche tiempo continuo o continuo en algún lado del tiempo verbal, se, siempre va a tener ing de alguna forma. ¿Verdad? Okay. Okay. Aparte, lo está conjugando con bin que es un pariente, por decirlo así, del verbo be. Y acordémonos, si vamos de regreso al presente, el presente continuo simple, aprendemos que usamos el verbo to be, am, um, is, are, con el verbo, con ing. ing. ¿verdad? Entonces lo mismo uh -huh. aplica, lo que pasa es que se va transformando eh, a llegar al presente perfecto eh, continuo, entonces el be pasa a ser been, pero es su familia del verbo be, entonces... Pues necesito que el siguiente verbo lleve ing de alguna forma. Okay. 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 Entonces, por eso es, I, for, uh, for example, I say, I have been teaching English for 23 years or 22 years, right? Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, okay. esa es la combinación del perfecto, con, por eso usamos have, has, el pasado participio de ese, para poner el perfecto, más el ing, que gramaticalmente se llama presente... Eh, eh, participio, ¿verdad? Que es el ING que le llamamos nosotros, el verbo más ING, pero gramaticalmente se llama presente participio. Ok, number okay. one, she has been talking to the mother, uh, to her mother for the past hour. hour. Uh, she has been talking, talking for the mother for the, for, uh, Three hours? But you need to come up with a question. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, how long, oh, mm -hmm. how long has she has been talking to her mother for the past hour? No, only how long. No, 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 yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, porque así le pone, for the past uh -huh. hour, you're giving the, the same, I mean, yes. it's the answer on the question, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, you can also, Francisco and Carlita, you can also guide yourself. This is the underlying word, all right? Oh, okay. So based on this, which question or which WH question can I use? Is it what? Is it who? Is it where? Is it why? How mm -hmm. long? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. How okay. long has, 
Hasveen. No. How long has she been? Has she been? But for, guys, I'm sorry. For the past two hours, it's not underlined. It's underlined her mother. So the key word ah, yeah. is her mother, right? Ah, okay. So what do you what do you want to know? Uh, All right. Uh, what? No. Who? Excellent, Carla. Very good. Uh, yes. Yes. Bárbara Carlita. <risa> me está cortando. <risa> Sorry, yo le digo a, a Frank, yo no sé por qué me está contando si me fija casi no hablo porque mi pobre cerebro está como que pensando qué quiere decirme. <risa> ok. Who has she been yeah. talking? Oh, she's been talking. No. Talking. 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 All right. Entonces, the answer is she has been talking to her mother for the past hour. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Sorry. Uh, okay. Number one is who is, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Who has she been talking? Talking. Uh -huh. Talking to. Into? Okay. Uh -huh. And the answer is the the answer okay. is the one you have. Okay, very good. Yes. Ruth has been waiting for Sarah. Uh, how long? How long? Has, has Ruth has been? Ruth been? Waiting? Yes. Uh -huh. Waiting to? No, waiting, no. waiting for. Four? Waiting for. Okay. Uh, waiting, uh -huh. In this case, you can say, how long has Ruth been waiting for Sarah? All right, porque la respuesta es por two hours. Ahí no importa si ponemos el nombre, right? Mm -hmm. How long has Ruth been waiting? Yeah. Waiting for, right? Yeah. Waiting for. Okay. Darlita, Francisco, but you have felt okay in classes, yes? Why? What? Have you, have you, like, <laughs> have you felt okay in classes? Are you okay with the classes? Yes, yes, I'm okay. Right. Yes, I'm okay. only that I it's difficult for me hear hear you talking fast. Okay, uh -huh. I talk to, uh, I talk fast. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Yes, <laughs> Be, because but I I feel you. Cool. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, really. Uh, just speak, teachers just speak. Uh, very good the English. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it's like a native. I, I don't yeah. see this word. Native, native speaker. Native, yeah. but uh -huh. <laughs> I think uh, many people or oh, 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 many many see sí, coworkers. Uh, mm -hmm. We, what? Como costar nos cuesta entender un poquito mm -hmm. because yeah. you speak mm -hmm. a very fast. All right. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, Carla. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Especially because you guys are already in the intermediate level and you're going to like hit yeah. advanced pretty soon. So yeah, I you need, need to. Yeah. I need a standard and, and, and practice <laughs> right. in, in this level. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, okay. Well, it's a challenge, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but, yes, but, but, but uh, I, I, I think you, you all time is um, dispuesta a ayudarnos. Yes, <laughs> I'm always willing to help. Yeah, of yeah. course, yes. yes. So, all right. Yeah. I feel I feel uh, good about this. Okay, very good, Francisco. That's nice to hear. And I 
I think that the this exercise is is very good for the learning because eh, no sé cómo dice encierra. encierra it, it, it encloses, oh. encloses everything. Encloses Encloses everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yes. All right, yes, let's continue. I'll, I'll shut up, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go check another group, okay? In case you need help, let me know. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Hi, Ili. Hi, Vero. Uh, How are you girls doing? Hi, teacher. Uh, good. <laughs> yeah, which exercise are you working on right now? In the second, the second picture. Okay, like you're making the questions. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, but I uh, we are uh, review the number one. Okay. Okay. Tell me what you have so I can help you. Yes, because uh, I we did we we didn't answer correct. Okay. What What do it, you have? It, with mm -hmm. With who? Right, yes. Because her, her mother, mother is underlined, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Pero, the, the, the answer is, is maybe who has been talking she for the past hour? Who has she been talking to for the past hour? Yes. Sorry? Who has she uh -huh. been uh -huh. talking uh -huh. to uh -huh. for the past hour? Hola, you can leave it up to like who has she been talking to? Porque lo importante de la respuesta era her mother, no el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, you, can, mm -hmm. you have two choices. You can say, who has she been talking to? Or you can say, who has she been talking to for the past hour? So the answer says, she has been talking to her mother. Es lo importante, her mother, for the past hour. Teacher, in, in what place, in what place uh, we, we write the subject? Who has she? Who has she been? Been, that's right, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, teacher, all yes. the, this question, the position, the subject is uh, um, plus has or have. That's right, after, after the, uh, the, the auxiliary, the, have or has, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember that, for example, if I say, for example, I said, Vero, have you... I don't know, been uh, running, all right, have you, uh, the auxiliary verb have plus the subject. In this case, we are adding the WH question word, but the position is the same. So it would be WH question word plus auxiliary verb have or has plus subject plus been plus the uh, verb, and verb with ing verb, yes, and then the complement, all right, and then the question mark, yes. Thanks, teacher. Okay, yeah, you. Eliana and Veronica, you have felt how um how you feel okay with the classes? Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and if you in if we say no, <laughs> you'll get in no. trouble. No, I'm no. <laughs> well, if you say no, I will have to ask for suggestions. <laughs> ah, okay, no, yeah. but it's okay. It's All right, okay. it's very dynamic. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, thank you, Vero. All right, very good. I'm gonna check one more group, guys, girls, and then we're okay. gonna go back. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank teacher. Thank you. Pero the number two. Si, uh -huh. How long has uh -huh. Ruth? How long? Only that the cars have problems, but for exercise. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Impossible. Hi, Carla. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Hi. 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 How are you doing with the exercises? Uh, well, um, we have just the second. first and the second. Okay. okay. All right. So you finish all the questions? Like that you have to come up with the, the second picture? Yes, the, uh, the six. You finish all the questions. <laughs> the number six. Yay, yes. Very good, nice. Was it difficult or not so difficult? 
Um, maybe a little. A little. All right. A, a little. little. <laughs> That's good. So right now you're in the matching. Um, On the matching exercise right now? Yes. Yes, the, the third. Okay, the, yeah, the third picture. Yeah, okay. The third, yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, they'll tell me why. A match, hey, match the, sen the situations on the left with the causes on the right. Okay. <clears throat> The first one is the example, right? Uh -huh, yes. Mary says, yeah. I'm very red. She's been crying all night. Yeah. She's been crying. All night. Oh, I pussy. I know. <laughs> <I'm wet>. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Number two, the streets are wet. Ah, letter D, it's been raining for hours. Four hours. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Number three, the children are hungry now. Maybe the uh, H, letter H, they been eating cookies all day. Uh, the children aren't hungry now. Sorry. Because I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> letter T, sorry, uh, the children are three, hungry uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. mm. The answer is letter H, letter H. <laughs> letter they, H. they have been eating cookies been eating all day. Cookies. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> for that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they are hungry because they are not hungry because they've been eating snacks all day. <laughs> uh -huh. so. mm -hmm. It's out of breath. Teacher, I'm confused in this yes. because breath is like a, a suspiro, no, or, or... Ya, en ese caso es como que está, no tiene oxígeno, no puede respirar. Ah, aliento. Okay. Aliento, okay. aliento, no me sale. Aliento, ok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fine, yeah. He stops of breath. Uh, he's been smoking for years. Or... Yeah, or he's been running for an hour, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Look. <laughs> Girls, we're gonna go back right now because of the time, and you need to go soon. Okay. Okay. okay so we're gonna try to check as much as possible right now. Thank you, girls. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Hi guys, how um how much were you able to finish? Exa, uh, which exercise were you able to like finish? Yeah, just the last exercise. Oh, uh, all right. Was missing? Yes. Okay, so you did number one, two, three, and four. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. Good job. Nice. You were working with Exa? Yeah, uh, Gabi. All right, very good. Okay, nice. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh we're gonna check like one or two before we, we take the attendance. Let's see here. Uh, Carlita, Beatriz, why are you so tired? Because what, Carlita? Um, because I have been working in my garden all morning. Oh, very nice. Good, good, good. <laughs> nice. All right, Exa, why did Danielle's teacher phone Danielle's parents? Uh, uh, hey, I <laughs> because he has not been doing homework. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's in trouble. All right, very good, thank you. Uh, let's see, uh, Franklin, why does it smell mm, so good in the kitchen? No, Franklin, Franklin. All right, because so, uh -huh. my, uh, 
because my mom all has right. been cooking mm -hmm. all afternoon. Excellent, because my mom has been cooking all afternoon. That's okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, these ones here, we're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna check them right now because I know you need to go. These ones here, you have to come up with the question based on the underlined word, all right? So for example, number one, you can have who has she been talking to for the past hour or only who has she been talking to, all right? So both choices are okay, all right? Number two, Ruth has been waiting for Sarah for over an hour. How long has Ruth been waiting for Sarah? All right, so that would be the, the, um, the way to ask, I mean, to, to do the question. All right, so tomorrow when we come back, because we see, you, I mean, we see each other tomorrow, we're gonna finish checking this because I think it's important for us to check it. In case you have time to work on it, work on it. If not, we can do it tomorrow here in class, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna take attendance right now. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Veronica Beatriz Celso. Present teacher. Osmani Exaú de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Dalila, sorry, it's not here, right? Dalila. Uh, María Araceli González Flores. María Araceli, ahí está. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Claudia Iliana Cazún. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. All right, Karen Lizette Reyes. Present. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present. Excellent. Guys, please work on the platform, okay? Please, please, please work on it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.